Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning MySQL event tutorial for beginners. This is our part 3. Inside this video session guys, we are going to create our first event that is one time event. In the last video, we had seen about the syntax that how can we create event. In that syntax, actually we had seen that how can we make an event. So if I go to next slide now this is the syntax actually we had seen something called create event if not exist it means that these are the keywords we need to write this is the statement something called create event this is simply we can write to check that this event basically we are creating exists in our database or not this is for the scheduling it means on say tool and here we have to pass that is it is one time event or recurring event same as it is do for the party if we have called one line command or a stored processor simply we need to write inside this event body or if suppose we have multiple line commands then in that case actually we need to write call begin and end block and inside that block actually we can specify our multi-line commands so let's say that we are going to create our first event that is executed only one time so if I back to MySQL server, now let's say that I am going to inside this HMVC underscore book. Now this is our one of the database you can select from your phpMyAdmin. So if we want to create any event inside this database, so we have two options. Either by typing our code inside this SQL tab, we can create our event. Or basically also phpMyAdmin provides a manual tool by the help of that tool actually we can create event and where is the tool if I go inside this more section now inside this more section as we can see that events is there also if I make some configuration or reset to default layout now this is all about the events so inside this video, we are going to follow about the coding background. It means that by the help of code, we are going to create our event. So go to SQL tab. So let's say create event. Let's say if not exist. And let's say that this is our event underscore 01. Now this is our event name. Now here, we need to write call on this on schedule this is for the time duration and we are going to create one time execution event it means it will execute only one time so about the scheduling time actually we had discussed inside the last video so here I am to pass called at LSA current timestamp it means that when we run this event it will automatically fires at the current timestamp and the command actually we are going to write it will perform then so it is the event actually execute only one time on the current timestamp so let's say that here I am to specify do and inside this do I am to write a command so let's say that we are going to create or book inside this table means we are going to do a insertion so right now inside this table if we go at the top now we have four rows inside this table so we are going to insert one more row when we actually run our event so copy this table name let's say that insert into tbl books let's say values and inside this values we have four columns so let's say that book and we are following a sequence so this should be something called book let's say 101 or let's say 110 next we have to pass about let's say book author book publication so i'm going to write let's say author 110 something let's say publication 110 and we have a sample description as well and this is 110 so we have successfully created our first event for one time execution which basically inserts one row inside this db underscore books table so if i copy the code back to our slide open a new tab 
now this is the code actually we have written so let me make some formatting now this is our event so basically inside our last video we had also discussed about to actually run our events we have to enable our scheduler thread so basically to check our scheduler thread we have a command and let's say set global it's something called set sorry it's not set it's schedule just to get rid of that it's it's an event scheduler and it equal to on it means that we are going to enable our event scheduler so if i press enter now we have successfully ena enabled our event scheduler now we can execute our event so here inside this table only four rows we have now we are going to create this event so copy this code back to our database pasting all the codes inside the sql tab and pressing Control enter or either go button now as we can see that successfully we have created that now while creating at the current timestamp it basically inserted one row inside this table so back here reload this page now inside this table now as we can see that no rows basically inserted so again back to code so if I again copy the whole code go to SQL tab and pasting it here and this is the event actually we had created on schedule current timestamp this is for the body and here is the insert command so let's say that also we are going to specify about the column names so the column names we have inside the table something called book let's say book underscore name this is for the first value inside the second value we have book author inside the third let's say book underscore publication and for the fourth column the column name we have called book underscore description so here we have called insert tbl books these are the column names and these are the specific values now if i press again control enter go to this table reload this page now this time as we can see that we have successfully inserted one row inside this table it means that our scheduled event executed one time on the current timestamp so this is how guys actually we can create events inside our database let's create one more event which basically runs at the current time stamp plus let's say 20 seconds it means that that event should execute about the 20 seconds after current time stamp and this should be one time event as well so go to sql tab let's say that create event let's say if not exist let's say event underscore zero two and here let's say on something let's say schedule and at let's say current timestamp and here we want to add 20 seconds after current timestamp it means we are going to execute our event after 20 seconds with the current time so let's interval it should be 20 and let's say here we need to write call seconds now let's say do and here is the body we need to write call insert let's say into tbl underscore books here we have to write the column name so book underscore name here something book underscore author book underscore publication and finally let's say book underscore description and the values we have called values let's say book something 210 let's say author something 210 and let's say publication something 210 and we have now let's say that sample description 210 
now finally we have written our event code which basically C tool at the current time stamp plus 20 seconds it means it will execute after 20 seconds with the current time so if we press ctrl enter or the go button now we have some errors so go at the bottom and we here we have some error called and error is about something interval 20 and let's say we have some mistake so it should be 20 second and as well as we have to create actual event not even so if i press ctrl enter now successfully we have created our scheduled event which executes after 20 seconds so back to table reload this page now as we can see that our event basically not executed this time if it executes then one more record actually inserted inside this table so we have to count 20 seconds at the time of our event creation because after 20 seconds basically it is going to be execute so again reload this page now as we can see that our record has been successfully inserted inside this table called book 210 so successfully guys inside this video we had created events with the one time event which has a schedule time inside this we have seen two cases the event which executes at the current timestamp or the event which executes after some the interval after current timestamp so if i back to slide and let's say that inside this slide we are going to zoom we are going to see basically the more explanation of the syntax so this is how we had basically seen that it is create if not accessed event name and on schedule so inside this schedule basically we have to pass our schedule time inside the schedule time for the one time event actually we can pass at current time stamp means at as the keyword and time stamp means current time stamp if we want to attach some interval so basically we need to write plus interval and this is for the interval so interval how seconds how minute or how many actually hours we're going to add so basically these are the interval quantity let's say that we are going to add in hour so we need to write plus interval 10 and hour we need to pick from this quantity list if we want to execute our one time event after one t so we need to write called at current time stamp plus interval and one day and this is for the recurring events it means that we need to write every as a keyword interval and then we need to specify called the start timestamp and the end timestamp so in the next video guys we will discuss about call on completion means this is the syntax actually why we have to write inside event we will see inside the next video so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day